Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add more of the medieval items to your Daisy community server for PlayStation, Xbox or PC. Uh, the sword, the mace, the great helm, the Norse helm and of course the chainmail jacket or the chainmail shirt, the chainmail leggings, the coif or the quaff, the hat thing. Um, we've got the chest plate as well, and of course we have the medieval boots. New with 121. Um, I think the fun with these is going to be using them in combination with other dress. You know, I don't think it's going to be that realistic to run around in a full medieval outfit. But you can imagine as a survivor, if you found like a chainmail shirt um, in, a, in a museum or something like that that was in good condition... Um, you may well wear it, might you, to protect yourself from zombies. Um, you may well, if you found a chest plate, again, for the same reason, or stick on one of the chainmail quaffs. So I think that's where the fun is going to be, and that's where the immersion is going to be. Mixing up the medieval stuff with the uh, with the modern stuff to give you that perfect Mad Max or sort of zombie apocalypse type of look. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is we're going to need to get the types.xml file off your server so we can edit it. And we're also remember, this only works when 121 is live. So depending on one of when um, you're watching this video, you'll want to make sure that you've at least got the 121 XMLs on your server um, um, so that you can you can edit them. So what we want to do is we want to go to the file browser on our server. This is example is a Nitrado one. And we go into the missions folder. So it's PS missions for PlayStations, XB missions for Xbox, just missions for PC. And this is a Chernerus server. So we want to go into Chernerus. If it was a Livonia server, it would be Enoch. If it was one of the other names, it would be one of the other ones. And then we want to go into the DB directory. This is the important one. And that all important file that we need to edit is the types.xml. So highly recommend you do this on a local computer. So what you do is you click that button there and you download that file, make a copy of it so you've got a backup so if something goes wrong you can just change it back to that. Um, and then we're going to edit that. Now you can edit edit on the um, web browser right here but types.xml especially is quite a long file and when you're editing things in the browser it's very easy to make a mistake. Um, and then that could ruin you know, your server, you know, things will stop spawning and then it can be difficult to find them. So I'd say download it, make a backup, and then we're going to edit it in our uh, types, uh, in our uh, text editor. In this case, I would recommend Notepad++, links in the description below this video. Um, and then what you want to do is you just want to open it up and search for Chainma, find all in current document, and what you'll see is they are all together. Here we have, so we have Chainmail, Chainmail Quaff, Chainmail Legacy, like that, which are the ones we're interested in. And what you'll notice straight away is that the location usage tag is historical. So this is a new tag for 121. This means these items will only spawn in castles and castle ruins. Um, the nominals are also very low. We've got two, two, and two. So obviously if you want to add some more, you know, go up to four on the nominal, change the minimum to two, for example. We could do that with all of them. You don't need to go mad. And the reason for that is, the reason why I'm not inputting like 20 in here is because of these tags here. So the flags that relate to each particular item. Because these tell the game, how do you count four? So if the leggings are meant to have four of them on the server, how do you, how do you count that? And what this is saying to the server is, look, only count them when they're on the map, so when they're lying on the ground or on a table or something like that. Don't count them when a player's got them in their hand or wearing them, or they put them in a uh, base or put them in something else, like a, a bin or something like that, you know, a, 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 a barrel. You know, only count them when they're lying on the map. So what this means is when someone picks up a set of chainmail leggings or a quaff or a chainmail, at a castle the game will go oh that's disappeared and spawn what another one in not in the same location right away but over time another one will spawn in so a relatively small nominal value can still feed in lots and lots of that particular item to your server don't think that because the nominal is four that means that only four people will have the chain mail no no, no. it means that there'll only be four maximum at a time on the map sitting there on the ground the rest of them could be on people's bodies or in their backpacks or in their bases so don't don't go mad so just do that so not say four and two for example would be good one of the things you could do as well is you could change the usage tag so again this usage is the 
um, location of the particular item so if we duplicate this we can change it to something else now again in the description below this video I'll put a link to this page here which gives you a list of all of the usage tags that you can use apart from historical funny enough um, that you could change it to but what we could do for example is we could say okay so where else might um, chain mail spawn in um, how about school yeah maybe you know say someone a class was looking at it was an archaeology class um, or a historic not archaeology it'd be all rusty wouldn't it a, a history class and they got some medieval armor so maybe you could do that bear in mind though that when you do add more usage names to uh, and usage categories to an item it might seem like oh, it'll be easy to find now because I just checked school location and historical locations. That is true, but you've got to remember your nominal is still the same. So that same number of chainmail shirts in this case are spread over more locations. So actually, they become more difficult to find. So you need to add more. So we probably have to put that up to like eight because we're, we're putting them out. And also, also remember, this is Daisy. It is meant to be difficult to find stuff. You know, you want to give people that challenge of having to find something or put them, put them in a situation where they have to interact with other players and trade for things as well. So there we have the chain mail. So the next thing was the uh, medieval boots, wasn't it? So if we search for medieval, there we go. We've got medieval boots straight away, clothes, historical. So again, these are just going to spawn at the castles and at the castle ruins, that sort of place. There's only four spawn in. So maybe we could change that to six if you wanted a few more. Um, change the minimum to four. So that would do that. Um, and then we've got the chest plate. So if we search for chest per, there we go. There's the chest plate. Only three of these spawn in. So again, maybe you want to increase the nominal to four or five. Uh, change the minimum to like three. You can have more of those. And then you've got things like the uh, helms, didn't we? So if we type in helm and find all in current documents we don't want to type that because there's too many <laughs> we want to type uh you don't want to say that here we go control f um uh, great here we go there we go so there we have the great helm i'll put all these names in the description below the video as well so it's easy for you to find them so again there's only four again historical location so maybe you put that up to six change the minimum to four maybe add another usage name um where else you could find them in villages or something like that and then the other helmet now the norse helm is actually quite interesting because they don't actually spawn on Chernerus. i think they only spawn on livonia so what you would have to do with the norse helm is you would need to add a usage name to it so we could copy that one paste it underneath there and we would change the usage historical to h-i-s-t usage historical there we go change the nominal to say four change the minimum to say to two and now we've got the norse helm spawning in on our map as well so we got the norse helm we had the great did we do we look at the uh the great helm we did that one didn't we and then we've got the mace mace is easy just look for mace again clothes historical it's not classed as a weapon um, but obviously it is a weapon again change the nominal up to four minimum up to two maybe change the usage name um, it'd be nice if they had a, a, a museum usage name wouldn't it because I think this stuff is really in the museum it should be in a museum shouldn't it not really just it'd be a bit rusty wouldn't it if it was lying around a castle hmm uh, I get although I guess people could maybe be doing like we're doing um, historical reenactments just as the zombie apocalypse <laughs> was coming into effect so they quickly stripped off their medieval stuff um there we got sword there we go so there's the sword close historical again increase the nominal increase the minimum um and i think was that everything actually was that everything sword mace two helmets chest plate blah 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 coolio right so there we go that my friends is how you increase uh, the numbers in there uh, and what you would then do is once you're happy with your editing save that and then you want to go to xml validator or sorry xmlvalidation.com you want to choose that particular file validate it to make sure you haven't introduced any spelling mistakes once you're happy that you haven't or you've gone back and corrected the ones that you have 
then go back to your server, go to the DB folder, click on upload file, upload the edited file that we've just used, restart your server, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you'll have all these extra lovely medieval um, stuff spawning in, in and around the castles and the ruins, so there'll be lots more chainmail, swords, helmets, maces, medieval boots, and the like. Okay, so hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.